Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shen, and this is Classy Shades Design. This video is going to be a little bit different. I was asked in my last video where I did the zipper cup, how do I make the next step for the epoxy so I'm going to take this medicine cup you see right here I'm trying to show you the numbers I hope that it turns out right but on this medicine cup it has 33 ml and I'm going to use pro marine epoxy which requires a 50 50 mix so if I use five milliliters of part a I need to use five milliliters of part B and because I'm only going to mix 10 milliliters together, I'm going to use this one cup to put it all in, which will make it easier for me in the long run. I try to do things as simple as possible for me. When you create your masterpieces, your cups, you can do it, whatever works for you. So I've already put in part A, that's the thicker part, and I like to start with that, and then I'll add on top of it, part B which is a little more liquefied um, and I'm just checking to make sure that it's balanced I like to do it on this ledge here because the ledge is balanced and I can see that it's even and then I don't have to get on the floor to try to make sure that I've hit the right um, marks so again I'm using five milliliters of A and five milliliters of part B the next thing I'm going to do let me get a stir stick here is I'm just going to stir this really slow together so that the colors will blend the reason I do it slow is because the faster you spin it the faster you stir it, the more bubbles you will create in the epoxy which means the more work you'll have to do later to try to get the epoxy to um, the bubbles to pop out of the epoxy so I like to just stir it slow take my time you see me lift it out of the um, out of the mixture here I really don't recommend doing that but I do like to scrape along the edges and along the sides so that I can make sure all of the parts are mixed really well if you don't mix it well it will take forever to cure if it ever does cure and you would have to put another layer of um, the right mixture on top of it so I'm just stirring it until it gets clear and I'll keep on doing this uh, it takes about two to three minutes um, because we're only using a small amount of epoxy if you read the box the instructions on the box are for when you're creating a big big amount of this but because we're just using a small amount of epoxy it just takes a few minutes to um, mix it together let me give a disclaimer here while I'm mixing this is a chemical it can burn your skin you could have a allergic an allergic reaction to it if it's not properly mixed so I want you to be um, very careful wear your gloves wear your safety gloves here you can see I've gotten a little bit of bubbles in it so I'm gonna just let this sit for a moment um, and let the bubbles rise to the top while I get everything else together but make sure you wear protective gear um, the base that I'm using for this cup is a metallic paint um, I think this is peacock I'll leave a link down below because I do offer this on both my um, Facebook page and on my Amazon page where you can buy actually a whole bundle of it it's it's I love this metallic paint it's beautiful to me well you can see what it looks like on the cup here so um, I've let that sit now and I've gotten the bubbles that rise to the top so now I'm just going to take a really thin layer of epoxy and put it on top of it yes I did mix too much and I do that because I'd rather have too much instead of too little and so here we're just going to put a thin layer on it be careful because I think I just slung some onto the carpet this carpet in this room has completely had it you guys I've, I've just ruined it um, at some point in time I'm gonna take it up and just put down flooring so that um, well this was the game room it didn't start out being this uh, my office but it is now an official craft room and the floor gives it away anyway we're gonna put a real thin layer of epoxy on this uh, probably if I had to guess we're only using about two milliliters you want to have the entire thing covered but you just want a thin layer why I put a thin layer on it because when we get ready to sprinkle our glitter on here the more epoxy you have the more glitter you have to use to um, soak up the epoxy so just put a thin layer on top of it and make sure that you have your 
um, tumbler good and covered and don't forget your bottoms you want to make sure that you do your bottom if you're going to glitter the bottom then make sure that you put the epoxy on the bottom always cover your bottoms always cover your bottoms all right it's looking like we've got enough on here if we need to as it spins and levels itself out because epoxy is self-leveling we can take a little bit off with our um, hand just rubbing it across it and taking a little of the uh, excess off of there like this just rub it off and take it off if we have too much but you do want to make sure you get a good coat on it and then any excess you can always take off now let's let it spin for a few minutes and let that epoxy balance itself out from here all right it's looking good guys I can't express enough how um, this is a chemical so do make sure that you have things around to wipe your hands in case you get it on your skin make sure that if you need to if you have breathing problems that you use a respirator just practice safe crafting okay just practice safe crafting here I'm taking a little bit of the excess off I do feel like I have good coverage on it but I think that I have a little too much on here and so I'm just taking the excess off with my hand and then wiping it onto the paper towel I'm not worried about getting lint or anything in on this because again we're going to cover this layer up with the glitter so we're doing the epoxy glitter method I like doing this more than the Mod Podge because to me I only have to do it in uh, two steps I can do the first step walk away from it do some other things and then I can come back and do the next step plus this helps the glitter stick because the epoxy now is used as my adhesive and I only have to glitter one round so I'm letting this level itself out and I'll be right back once it gets level okay I've let it level itself out now I'm going to use a paper plate to catch my glitter and I am um, I just get my plates from the Dollar Tree because they're cheap I can throw them away I don't have to worry about it this glitter that I'm using is called Tiffany box I absolutely love it love it love it glitter is glitter you can find them just about anywhere but this mixture that comes together is sold by um, a young lady who's on Facebook her company is called glitter island I believe she's in Florida somewhere and I order from her quite often because she has pretty mixtures but this one right here is called Tiffany box and um, underneath the base that I use that I sell on my um, store and I'll show that below and I'll link uh, glitter island also you can see the two of them together just make a beautiful combination now as I sprinkle the glitter onto the epoxy I like to start at the bottom and just do small areas and work my way up I hold my plate so that my glitter doesn't fly away in the air so I try to hold it as close to the um, tumbler as I possibly can and I just work it work it and work it and work it it looks like we're using an awful lot of glitter but to be honest with you we're not because the plate is catching look at how much the plate caught and I can just now pour this all right back into my um, my little mug here um, my shaker and I supply these shakers as well so I can pour it back into the shaker here and um, start redoing it now what I'm looking for is any areas that look like they're shiny that look like they might be an oil slick that means that I don't have quite enough glitter on it and um, the epoxy soaked up the glitter so I'm gonna just come back and hit them again with some more glitter until it looks what we're looking for is we want it to kind of look ashy um, all my brown skin girls know what I'm talking about when your skin's dry and you got to put a little bit of lotion on it it looks white it kind of looks ashy and that's what you want your cup to look like so just keep dumping glitter onto it until you get the ashy look it won't hold it if the epoxy is soaked up and has enough glitter on it it will release the glitter onto your plate you won't waste any of it the glitter will be reusable and you can put it back into your container and you'll be fine but just make sure that you don't have any wet spots when you use this method I see I have one at the bottom too so I'm gonna go down and hit it here at the bottom I like to do it this way because once I have it spinning like we do now I'm done 
I don't have to do another coat of glitter I don't have to do anything all I'm going to do is take it off of here and do my bottom because I do want to put glitter on the bottom as well and you do it the same way that you did it just becomes a little easier now that the epoxy is settled in the glitter on the top I can just take it off and sprinkle some on the bottom and redo my bottoms so for me this works but this is just one of multiple methods to get glitter onto your tumbler some people love to use the Mod Podge method because they can't seem to get the epoxy method to work for them they either have too little or too much I don't know it, this works for me um, I like to do it this way and now I can just put it on the turner and let it turn and that's exactly what I'm going to do but first I want to show you the coverage that I have I don't see any slick spots I everything looks dry and this is what you want it to look like even the bottom looks really good so I'm happy with this I'm very happy with what we have right here I'm going to put a little bit more on it just to give it some uh, make sure that it's covered and I'll even dip it in here a little bit all right so now what I'm going to do is put it on back on the turner and just let it spin and it can spin for about three hours before I come back and put on the next coat let me show you this in the light if this isn't the prettiest dang on color it does look like the Tiffany box it looks so much like the Tiffany box I just absolutely love it glitter island I'll leave a link below but let's put this on here and I'm gonna let it spin and dry for about four hours now some people don't put it back on the spinner some people just put it on a drying rack but because I don't have any other um, cups going right now I'll go ahead and put it on the spinner and just let it level itself out and finish drying I'll be back in a little bit all right guys it's been about three and a half hours and what I'm doing now is just dry brushing the um, excess glitter off and I'm using my plate to catch it because this is so pretty and it costs me money I want to try to save all that I can I dry brush so that when I get ready to put the next um, layer of epoxy on that top coat on I don't have um, glitter that rises to the top and float around in my epoxy so I'm gonna go ahead and just dry brush see all this little extra that came off of there that's stuff we can use I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's do it see if we get any more off and don't of course don't forget to do your bottoms don't forget your bottoms you can take it off of the um, spinner too and dry brush it if it makes it easier but I just decided to do it this way okay so I've already mixed the epoxy together I didn't do it on screen because you saw me at the beginning of this video tell you how to mix the um, one to one ratio of, of part A and part B and at this point you should be able to do that but if you can't leave me a question down below or email me I'll get on the phone with you we can talk it through I want to make sure that you are a successful crafter and that's why we do these videos to make sure that you guys are having fun and that you're not stressing out all right I'm gonna take it off of here and just knock it and hit any loose glitter off because again that loose glitter will rise to the top of your epoxy and we don't want that since I have it off let me just go ahead and pour a little bit of the epoxy on the bottom and get the bottom going so that I can have that covered well and have it covered um, get it done when you're epoxying this way make sure you get your edges really well for some reason when you do um, tumblers the edges always seem to pull back so I'm working you see me I'm working I work the edges really well and now I'm going to um, put it back let it spin and we're going to start doing the rest oh I do want to tell you this time and I didn't mix 10 uh, milliliters of epoxy I mixed 25 I did 12.5 and 12.5 because now we're putting our top layer on and we do want a pretty good coating and this glitter will suck up the epoxy so you want to have more than enough to make sure to put a good, good thick coating on I like to put it on kind of heavy some people don't I put it on heavy because I can get a good slick coat thin with not much um, glitter coming through and it reduces the amount of sanding that I have to do later um, so we'll just go ahead and cover this with a really nice coat of epoxy 
make sure you get it all over you don't want any dry spots you want to make sure that it's all wet I use my finger instead of a brush some people use brushes some people use um, makeup brushes I like to use my finger with the glove on because I can tell where it's got um, epoxy at and where I've missed some spots and I just like to make sure that I get it worked in um, I've tried man I've bought so much stuff you guys I really have I've bought so much stuff and I've tried different ways I've tried silicone brushes I've tried um, the cake spatula I saw someone do it that way I tr saw someone do it with their bare hands I don't like the feel of the epoxy on my hands after trying to wash them and get it off plus I've um, I try to keep gloves on because every now and then I'll have a little bit of a re allergic reaction to the epoxy so I try not to um, get it on my skin if at all possible so I like to use the gloves and just work it on again work your edges work your edges work your edges try not to get it on the inside of your cup but if you do uh, you can always clean that up with a little um, razor blade and some dawn dish soap to clean it out now I'm just going to sprinkle the excess that I have in my cup onto the um, tumbler and let it spin it's self leveling so it'll level itself out right it's self leveling and it'll level itself out what you want to do is get make sure you have it all covered and I like to focus on my tops and on my bottoms because those seem to be the places that I have the most trouble with. Um, I don't have any problems with the middle, but the edges always seem to be the places that I don't have enough coverage. All right, so we've got all that we can get on here. Now we're going to let it spin for a few minutes, and then I'm going to come back um, with the next step. Okay, you guys, so I let it spin for about five minutes. Now I'm just going to apply some heat all the way across the um, cup. This helps pop any of those mini bubbles that were in it. And I like to heat the epoxy up so that it helps get it a special shine on it and makes it a little bit smoother. Again, I do all that I can do with the epoxy to help ease the amount of sanding that I have to do um, before the next before adding the decal and the last final coat of epoxy I generally do not use the heat gun I usually use a torch um, but I was out of butane so I'm gonna go ahead and show you with the heat gun and this is good just in case you guys don't have a torch at home that you would want to use or if you're scared to use the torch you can get the same effect from a heat gun just make sure that you're in a ventilated area or a well opened area if you're going to do that because it will release chemical fumes in the air and again you could have an allergic reaction so we'll now let this dry overnight and we can add our decals we're done from here but this is what the cup looked like when I was done I made it look like the Tiffany box a Tiffany present and I also added a little diamond on it a little rhinestone in the middle and then on the back of it I added be my Valentine every time Tiffany and Cole so there you have it guys this is how it turned out it is absolutely beautiful I love it and this cup is actually for sale on my site um, because it is a sample cup it is at a discounted rate of $20.99 or if you'd like to place a special order please see the information in the comment section I'll see you in our next cup video